for a red tractor with Christmas lights. Wish it wasn't snowing up right now. Is that a tractor? That's definitely a tractor. Oh yeah, Holy that's cool. Shit. <laughs> it's all right. Gotta be it. is already on the job. Let's go out and take a look and see what Papa Bear and I dragged back late last night. Oh my God, this car is gorgeous. This fine, fine specimen here is a beautiful 1983 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham D'Elegance Coupe with a factory astro roof. Um, absolutely beautiful color. This is a pretty unique color. It's called Balboa Blue. Um, very, very sharp. It was just sunny out a little while ago, uh, which would really make the color pop out in the sun. Uh, but uh, beautiful Balboa Blue with the white quarter top um, and then blue velour interior. D Elegance, obviously with that sunroof. Let me get the keys. We're gonna get this baby unhooked. I'll tell you all about it. We'll get it off the trailer and uh, we'll give you a little showing. The other thing I'll say is obviously, you might give me a little bit of crap down in the comments for pulling this thing all the way back on a U-Haul trailer, but desperate times call for desperate measures. The opportunity arose for this car and I have a, had a busy weekend and I knew I wasn't going to be able to go down over the weekend and get it. So uh, I had to, couldn't take my trailer because that smashed up Cadillac was still on it. And honestly, it was such a pain in the ass to get it on. I figured, you know what? We'll just drive down there. If I can grab a trailer, great. If I can't, so be it. I took the, uh, the big Duramax down, no trailer. And uh, I assume, well, if I can get my hands on a, uh-oh, are the right keys? No, this guy had so many damn keys, but I cross keys with another car. Anyways, so I figured I'd go down there. Woo. I love this Heather Velo. Uh, take a trip down there. We got original paperage. Show you all that in a minute. Uh, Behind the wheelie. Start this baby up. Probably won't start. Doesn't matter luck. I don't know how old the battery is. Gee whiz, what is going on with these keys? Starts right up. Absolutely perfect. So, we decided to go down there because I couldn't get my Cadillac off the trailer. And because I couldn't get it off the trailer, whoa, I, uh, I didn't want to waste any time. So I figured if, you know what, if I bought this car, we couldn't find a trailer through you all, um, I would just ship the car back. But I uh, ended up setting one up through U-Haul and that one-way trailer rental, which is usually like 50 bucks a day, if you're local, I didn't even think of this. That was like $550 to bring that from Pennsylvania last night to Pelham today and drop it off. But anyways, let me show you this car. Uh, beautiful Balboa blue car, white cabriolet top. Um, the guy that I bought this car from, I don't want to say it was the original owner, but this is a 1983 model. He bought it used in 1984. Um, I got to give it a good wash because... We drove back, we hit snow, and then we hit rain. You know, so there's a lot of crap um, on the car. You can actually kind of see it on the roof there. Uh, but the paint on the car is in really, really nice shape. It's a very clean car. Uh, like all old 80s cars, uh, it has been Z-barded with the Z-bart treatment. Um, 
you know, needs a few minor cosmetic things. The fillers were done already. Do a few adjustments. Gonna have to get that pinstriped. Uh, this guy, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Kind of a shoddy job there, so I'll get a new one for that. But you can just tell how clean this car is, um, you know, by these emblems here. And I mean, the paint has a beautiful gloss to it. Chrome bumper is in nice shape. Uh, one thing I'll have to do is paint these rub strips. Kind of common for those to discolor. Uh, it's basically just faded the color off. The bottom side, it's blue. So we'll get this, you know, these rub strips touched up. Um, but yeah, power antenna rebuild. Factory Astro roof. <sighs> A couple other minor little things. Um, where was this? Some chips or something going on here. So I might paint the header panel. Yeah. It's kind of weird how this happened. It's like faded right here. Um, but they were able to match the fillers pretty nicely. Uh, so that has hopes for me to be able to uh, paint the header and have that match pretty well. Headliner, obviously, it's original. It's needing to be done. Um, you know, you can see here, you touch it and the foam is all collapsed. So what happens is the foam collapses or breaks down where the glue is attached. Um, and yeah, that starts the process of those coming down. Now, I've never in my life done a headliner in one of these coupes um, and in a sunroof car. So this should be interesting. We'll see if I can even find the material, but beautiful Heather Velour, blue interior, it needs a good cleaning, um, but it's a 59,000 mile car. Very, very clean and rust free. And all the door jams. We'll come take a look over here. See what we got for paperwork. Have the 83 owner's manual, uh, consumer information. Also have a 1983. Oh, this is a dealer brochure. Yeah, it's a dealer brochure. It's got these pictures from 2012 when this car was able to be classified as an antique. And it looks like in those pictures, he has the original fillers on it. Still had those beautiful Goodyear Double Eagle tires. Um, I know those are pretty sweet tires back in the day. But, um, yeah, they got to be real old. I think those were the tires that they advertised. It was a tire inside of a tire. Um, Carbondale PA. It was sold new at Hornbeck Chevrolet, Inc. Built in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, let's see here. What do we got for options? Door edge guards. Defrogger rear window. Astro roof, $1,225. The elegance brome cloth, $1,250. License plate frame one that's in the trunk because PA only has one plate. Dark blue heather cloth, Balboa Bel blue exterior paint, and then uh, a white cabriolet roof. Um, he did give me another set of valve cover gaskets, which I probably won't use if I have to put valve cover gaskets on, only because those things look about as old as the car. Just some napkins. Let's go take a look what's in the trunk. All right, let's finesse through all these keys here. So he bought this car in 84, and I asked him, I said, you know, what was the reasoning for buying this car and not driving it? Because he said he's always like, yeah, he also needs trunk pistons. But there's that one license plate uh, frame. Looks like another set of floor mats, although those don't look like uh, rear wheel drive floor mats. Oh, no, they are. I don't know what those are out of. A couple oil filters. Look at all those old belts. You know, but all the gasket is in nice shape. Does have the power trunk pull down. I am holding this up because these ones, these coupes, didn't have the torsion bars set up. Uh, they had those hydraulic pistons that held the trunk up. So um, I actually need a set for my Fleetwood coupe. But the pull down works good. Obviously now the sun's coming out. So yeah, fresh Fleetwood Coupe. Real nice piece. Little, few little odds and ends. I was excited to get this car. It's a pretty looking car with a white top. And you know how I feel about Astro roofs. 
Um, I absolutely love, 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 love Astro Roofs. All right, this is a real smooth running 4100. 1983, this would have been the second year for these 4100s. And this one just sounds absolutely phenomenal. 83, you can tell it's got the chrome uh, valve cover gaskets. And yeah, definitely going to need uh, valve cover gaskets. Probably going to need motor mounts. You can see it shaking there. Yeah, definitely going to need motor mounts. Nothing we can't handle. Got this all cleaned up and detailed up. It's actually still the original R12 as well. But she'll clean up nice. I'm going to give it a nice bath. I'm going to put it inside for the weekend, but you can just see, you know, she got some salt build up. It's kind of like a flashback of when I bought that Lincoln Town car in Chicago. Just a quick video showing you the day-to-day -day hunt that Papa Bear and I do. He was available at a moment's notice. I said, hey, Papa Bear, what are you doing? He says, I'm pretty busy. Why, what's going on? I said, we're heading to uh, Pennsylvania. Oh, what are we going for? I said, it's a Cadillac this time, not a Lincoln. <laughs> so he was excited to go. Plus he gets free meals and all those other perks. Thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate y'all. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Any questions, you can always give me a call. 978-930-1004. Just don't ask me questions about that or how much it is or when it's going to be for sale. Because you know me, I, I usually don't divulge that information until a car is ready for sale. No disrespect, but... I just, I work by myself, for myself up here. I get cars done when they're done and ready. I have prices on them. Always on my website, here on YouTube as well. Again, thanks everybody for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one.